I got three hours of sleep. My sleeping schedule is all messed up because I get my energy at night and that's when I want to pack. So then I'm like, on my days off, I was sleeping, like taking naps during the day and then staying up at night, but I work today. <laughs> so I got three hours of sleep, but yesterday was the first day I feel like I was getting somewhere with packing, like where I could see my progress. But yeah, it, like so much stuff is like packed up. My desk is almost ready to go. My books, I want to try a bunch of books there. I really want to try to make one more video and then I can pack up the rest of my books. But we'll see. <laughs> so I was also planning to make another video at my desk before packing it up and I was like, nope, that's not happening. I'm not in the mental space to make a video. I'm just like, pack. <laughs> Packing mode. I'll try to show some, I'll try to show more later. Yeah, the house is a wreck. <laughs> but it's getting there. Like the kitchen is almost like done. But the movers get here in, on, so it's Monday, the movers will be here on Thursday. So I'm just gonna be packing and packing and hopefully, hopefully getting some energy and uh, motivation. That's more what I lack to, to make one more video so I can pack up my books. House is empty.
the movers finished today. <laughs> Babsy has been so good in her carrier. <laughs> and I'm lying on a beach chair because this is the only thing that I have to sit on. <laughs> I'm emotional and I'm tired. I haven't slept very well in like three days. Like I've been going to sleep so late and then waking up really early. I was like, oh, I know I'm really tired because I watched a TikTok that made me cry and then immediately the next video was a really funny TikTok and it made me laugh until I continued to cry. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to sleep. <laughs> it's weird seeing the house so empty, it's sad. I am so excited to move and I'm so excited that all of this is done, but it still makes me sad. I was uh, trying to take Batsy to the vet. I took her to two vets today and like they just, I don't know. It's been, it's, I have to take her on Monday even though she was supposed to go today, but my vet decided to close today for no reason. They'll be open on Monday. I just have like our pile of stuff back there. I'm trying not to show you my hair because it looks so <laughs> crazy. But yeah, I'm sorry if it's just like black stuff I have on my face. Um, yeah, the movers finished moving everything today and they were so nice. They've been moving stuff for three days. It's crazy. Um, and then tomorrow a lady's gonna come and clean the house and Tonight, my dad's gonna help me get stuff that like is gonna go just like to the Goodwill or to like garage sale kind of stuff. And then I'm gonna spend the night at my parents' house tonight and then tomorrow I check into my hotel and I'll be at that hotel for like 10 days and then we fly, which is insane. My face, I feel like just for a long time, like for, I don't know, my face feels so swollen and like my eyes, everything for like a week. I feel like my face has just been so swollen. But I think lack of sleep can do that. <laughs> Picked up some coffee to hopefully revive me because they still had things to do and it just, don't have much energy to do them. I'm about to go to Barnes and Noble for the last time in who knows how long. It could be years before I'm able to go to another Barnes & Noble. to be in here because I only have two suitcases and they're already pretty filled with books. I 
I got two Riley Sager books. I got the new Riley Sager Middle of the Night. I'm so excited for this book. I've been dying for it to come out. And this is the only book of his that I'm missing, Home Before Dark, which is funny because this is like, I think one of his highest rated books. <laughs> Batsy just went inside the bag. Like why do cats like bags like this? I would, would have liked to get this in hardcover, but it's okay. I, I really like the yellow and I just really wanted it. I got a few horrors. I got Nestling, which I've seen recommended by a bunch of different YouTubers and I've picked it up many times. I just decided to get it because it seems creepy. <laughs> and then I got The Return, which has also been recommended. I didn't know Rachel Harrison wrote this. Um, I, I like know about The Return and I like Rachel Harrison, the Such Sharp Teeth, so I'm excited to read this. And then I've never heard of this, never seen it, but I love the cover and it's below. And it's a really short read, so it'll be really fast paced and I'm hoping that it, there are these creepy creatures <laughs> underground. But yeah, I got horror and then thrillers. And I've just been meaning to buy this one for so long and it was buy one, get one 50% off. And look at this cover. Like if I'm gonna get a pink cover, <laughs> it's, it's gonna be a horror. And I love, I really love the Rachel Harrison book that I bought. So this, these are all so beautiful. Like why are horror books so, so beautiful? In like the creepiest way, they're so pretty. <laughs> On my way to pick up husband from the airport. I'm so excited. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I haven't seen him in so long.